All right, I want to show people that you can make a fire. I'll take this one. When wood has been wet with a ferro rod. I'll be right back. Welcome back. I think it's recording. Okay, first time I've done this, guys, so bear with me on the filming. Um, wet wood. Ferro rod. I like to take pin caps and glue my ferro rod in there. It makes it easy. Sorry. Cotton ball. Just regular cotton ball. This is a cotton ball that was completely submerged in wax at one time. It's hard as a rock. And this is just a little bottle of mineral oil I'm using for the uh, demonstration. Okay. Wet wood. As in all fires, start with small, work your way up big. But right now, we're going to work our way on some kindling. Get that wet outer bark off that wood. I don't want to drag you through this whole thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a quick demo. And then once you get that wet outer bark off, keep slicing pieces off. Okay, I'm going to pause the video here and go ahead and do this real quick. And then I'll bring it back. Okay, I'm back. As you can see, I took the stick that we had earlier and I back scraped what I call back scraping. It was like this, all the bark on it until I got the dry wood. And then I would just back scrape for a little bit longer over my little pile here. And then I would also cut slivers off like that. You can do this with any size wet wood. Um, I recommend looking for dry pieces of limbs that are actually still on the tree and not so much on the ground, but as long as they haven't been submerged in water for days and days and weeks at a time, you can use just about anything. Uh, anyways, I whittled the end of this stick down, and I did a technique they call feathering. In other words, instead of whittling all the way off, I took my knife and I try to leave the feathers on there. Anyways, as you know, in any good fire, you want to start small, build it up, next level, next level. I took my little kindling sticks and the bark that's wet, scrape that wet bark off. All right, now let's get to the fire making. This is a cotton ball soaked in candle wax. I do them in basically a whole cotton ball bag at a time, at the same time. So let me cut a piece of that off. Flatten it out a little bit. Alright, put that there. Let's just take regular cotton ball, which you can carry with you in any waterproof way you feel like. I'm going to open it up some. Hopefully I'm still in the camera's view because I can't see my viewfinder. I bring with me mineral oil that you get at the pharmacy. Mineral oil. It's used as a laxative. And that's what I prefer to use. Some people use petroleum jelly. Some people use other stuff, but I like mineral oil. So, put it on my cotton ball, and I want to work it in real well. Work it into my cotton ball. Now, this is going to be my ignition source. If I didn't have this, uh, I'm sure you've got cotton on your clothing somewhere. You could use that. You could use some sort of natural fibers, but the point is, is to get it into a fibrous state. and only work it all through there. I'll put it in a little bundle. Now, it's been a while. Let's see what we can get going on here. Ferro rod. Knife. Now, my technique, you see people going like this on Survivor. That drives me insane because all they're doing is hacking their ferro rod up. See how smooth my ferro rod still is? It's not like chopped up. And I see some people going like this with their knives. And you're shooting the sparks everywhere. If you keep your knife in place... And put pressure, angle your knife forward, and you're drawing this back. Okay, we're at this point. Now I'm going to take my wax, cotton ball, and I'm going to put it right in there. I'm going to let it go in there. And it's going to act like a candle wick and burn a little bit longer. Everywhere you don't have mineral oil, uh, regular cotton is going to burn quicker. But at this point in time, you can take your shavings 
and little by little move them on there. It ain't much, but it's enough to get you going to build from there out of wet wood. Just be patient. That's how all fires are. You got to be patient. Now, if you take a whole cotton ball like this and soak it, um, you're going to get a bigger result. I decided just to do a little one here because I am on my front steps. And isn't anything. You just gently, oops, gently feed the fire. Gently feed it. Right now I'm not going to blow on it because it's doing okay for a starter. If I needed to. Now if I had this in a bed of uh, more cotton or a bed of uh, shavings instead of just right on the concrete. I'd do much better. But I don't want to bore you with a long drawn out video about making a fire. This was simply to show you how to get a fire started at its basic levels. When you have wood wet, wet wood. Now when I get to a higher level, I'll take this fur out stick, or whatever you want to call it. Keep feeding it. And you got to be patient. And you got to have your materials ready. I would make this bigger, and I usually like to stack my like pallet type. And that's what I would do to make a fire. But that's my point. I would have more wood shaved out. That way it would go. And that's how I do a fire when it's wet. So hopefully this answered some questions. That you can use a ferro rod when it is wet. Alright. This is phase one readiness. I'm Adam. I uh, hope this answered some questions for some people. And put any doubts that you might have about ferro rods to rest. And uh. I will make a more detailed video on this in the future. This is just a not so quick answer. All right, thanks guys. Adam, phase one readiness. Please subscribe to my channel and pass my uh, channel on to other folks. Thank you. Phase one readiness, out.